Hey, what is up everyone? It is Jake Pimentel here from Pime Technology and today I'm here with a what you need to know about 600 megahertz T-Mobile Spectrum. So this is some new Spectrum that T-Mobile recently got and I just want to give you guys the details and basically what you need to know as a consumer about this new Spectrum. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Basically, Spectrum is managed by the FCC and basically these are a whole bunch of frequencies and radio waves that are controlled by our government, the FCC. And so basically, carriers can purchase this um, this, these wavelengths or these frequencies which connect to your smartphone and basically with the 600 megahertz auction beforehand TV channels and stuff like that owned this, um, this spectrum which basically means that back in the old days people used antennas and you could pick up this spectrum with the antennas so basically you could pick up these radio waves but now this is very valuable to the wireless market because 600 megahertz basically means that it can go indoors very well. So if you notice that sometimes on T-Mobile or on a carrier, it doesn't go in too well in like a building or something like that, that is most likely because they're using a high spectrum. So basically this spectrum will allow customers on T-Mobile everywhere to have better coverage in more rural and indoor locations. Now, in this Spectrum auction, T-Mobile won pretty big. I mean, they got the most Spectrum. To be exact, they got 45% of the Spectrum. So what that means for their customers is that their customers nationwide are going to be able to access this Spectrum. That means if you live in California, you'll be able to access this Spectrum. That means if you live in Texas, you'll be able to access this Spectrum. And let's say you live all the way up in the Northeast in Maine, you'll be able to access this Spectrum. But there is one thing that I do need to mention and that sometimes T-Mobile doesn't really understand. Now you can't utilize the spectrum without an antenna. So I know I bet you guys know about like what a cell tower is. It's just well, there's like little white antennas on it and basically that allows you allows you to connect to the spectrum. So your cell phone, whatever you, if you have an iPhone or an Android, connects to that white antenna and that white antenna relays that 600 megahertz spectrum. So basically what T-Mobile needs to do is not only did they have to purchase this spectrum, they actually have to put it on two towers. So that means that you cannot just automatically connect to the spectrum out of nowhere once it's turned on. Basically they have to go to your local tower and put on an antenna add equipment or maybe turn it on through the current equipment that they have if it supports it but yeah so you can't access this, uh, this spectrum without them actually turning it on the tower so I want to kind of talk about some of the places where you will be able to access this spectrum so some of the biggest places I say where this is going to be turned on is going to be first and foremost in major cities especially those without the current 700 megahertz spectrum, which is the extended range LTE, which I know you guys know a lot about already. And basically, they're going to turn it on in these areas because these are major cities, they need the extra capacity, and these areas don't have the low band spectrum. So that means customers are taking a huge hit. And areas like this are, I would say, in Oklahoma, uh, lots of portions of the Midwest actually do not have band 12 yet. Uh, so this 600 megahertz, we don't know the band number yet, is definitely going to improve signal for people, all the customers in that area. Now, when can you expect to actually be able to use this? Well, um, there's a few things that you have to do in order to be able to get access to this spectrum. Number one is that T-Mobile is going to have to turn it on in your location. So like I was saying, they have to turn it on the tower first. Then the second thing you're going to need is a phone that supports it. Now, as you can see right here, I have an iPhone 7 Plus, and currently this phone does not support the 600 megahertz spectrum. That is a huge disadvantage, meaning that if you have an iPhone 7 Plus or below, meaning if you have the latest iPhone as of right now, which is spring 2017, you're not gonna be able to access the spectrum. But, as the year goes on, and I say by quarter four 2017, especially in a lot of the prepaid phones, you're going to be seeing that 600 megahertz uh, it chip inside of those phones. So once you have the phone and they've turned it on in your area, you can go ahead and utilize that spectrum. 
Now, the speeds that you might be able to get on this 600 megahertz spectrum, of course, once I am able to actually connect to this, I will be doing tons of videos about the speeds on it. But for right now, it all depends on your area. So I know in my area, which I'm in the northeast, the south portion of the northeast, I won't be getting too fast of speeds on this spectrum because of the number, the block size they have. But in across the country, a lot of the areas actually have higher blocks than where I am, so I wouldn't be too worried. This is going to boost speeds a lot. I could say you could get anywhere from 60 to 100 if it's a 20 block. If it's a 15 block, you could get anywhere from, I don't know, you could get anywhere from 25 to 80. And if it's a 10 block, basically you can only get anywhere from 10 to 50, 60 the most. So it all depends, but I'm gonna say on average, the speeds you're gonna be getting on this is probably um, anywhere between 30 and 60 megabits per second. So yeah, that is all you need to know about T-Mobile's 600 megahertz spectrum. I'll be doing a tons more videos on the spectrum once I'm able to actually utilize it. I hope this video helped you guys out and gave you some more information on what 600 megahertz is. If you have any more questions about this spectrum, don't go right down in the comments. Don't be afraid. I respond to you guys' comments literally right away. I love responding to you guys. So definitely go leave your questions down in the comments. Leave your thoughts. Doesn't matter to me. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like as it helps out the channel. Definitely subscribe and turn on the little notification symbol next to it so you'll be updated right when I upload my newest videos. And definitely share this video with your friends as they may find this interesting. Maybe they're a T-Mobile customer and they're wondering what 600 megahertz is. Again, I appreciate all your support. Smile because you and technology are amazing. And peace out.